This is so cool! Hello everybody! Pug Nation here! Welcome back to another episode of Pug's Quest! I'm back here at my original spawn point just to get some materials. Um, I knew I had a bunch of obsidian here because in this episode I want to go to the nether. As I showed you in my new awesome Puglet Builds book, thing number one, what I want to build is a giant pug head, and there's a bunch of materials I need from the nether in order to do that, and I can't believe, I think it's episode 15 and I haven't been to the nether yet. Ugly. Ugly. So we definitely need to make a nether run, get some materials, but the other reason I'm over here is because uh, another one of the guys on the server has an enchantment table, which I don't have, and I'm sick of using non-enchanted items. Looks like someone's been busy over here, too. They added, like, a road. I wonder where that goes. Pretty cool, pretty cool, but... Oh man, it's so funny being back. Look how quaint everything is. I actually had real wheat fields. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Now I got like the super duper wheatinator. No shortage of wheat anymore, that's for sure. But let's just go ahead. I'm going to use this enchantment table so I can enchant this diamond pick. I mean, I'm so sick. I had like 50 levels or something and I fell and I killed myself. And no, no more. I'm so sick of that. I'm sick of slow motion mining. Time to get some enchantments done. I need to get an enchantment going in my... Oh, look, he got a horse. That's pretty cool. Whoa, this is kind of interesting. That's, that's a little interesting. I wonder what's going on. I think he actually moved off to another region, so I don't think anything around here is actually being used anymore. It's like some crazy sky bridge going on. But anyways, here's, here's why I'm here. Enchantment table. All right, and I brought the lapis. I know now you have to use lapis, which is kind of weird, but... Uh, and breaking two and something else. How does this work? I haven't done this yet. Oh, it won't tell me what this is? Oh, I need three lapis. Okay. See, I don't even know how enchantment works anymore. How bad is that? Unbreaking three. I'll take that. Let's see what I got. Oh, hey, it'd help if you actually did it. Doop, there we go. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that pick! Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3. That is a sick pick. See, this is what I'm talking about. I needed to do that a long time ago. This is an awesome pick. I'm going to tear through this stuff. Woo! Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Why haven't I come here before? What am I doing using these unenchanted tools? Well, anyways, I had some good luck there with that pick. That's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Let's, uh, enchant this bow up real quick. Let's see what we can get. Ah, uh, unbreaking three on the bow will take... Oh, that's all it gave me was unbreaking three. All right, well, that one's pretty lame, so... Okay, well, we, can, we did pretty well there. We got a pretty cool pick. A pretty cool pick. And a bow that's never going to die. <laughs> I guess we could take that. That's fine. All right, time to leave this base behind, head back to Pug Nation, and build another portal. I think I'm going to put it up in the transportation hub. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. That way I can have kind of a nether, uh, like a nether transportation hub, of course, which will be my long distance transportation hub. Uh, my one buddy on the server ended up like 2,000 blocks away from me, so I'm not going to build anything to him in the overworld, of course, because that would be way too far to travel, but in the nether, that's not too bad. Just going to hop back on my boat, say goodbye. Oh, such nostalgia. I should build something here, though. This is a really cool region. Really, really cool features around here. Pretty awesome. I think these are our spawn chunks, though. Like, you originally spawn up on that mountain there, so eventually we should put the Iron Golem farm here. But that means we would have to take down all the doors and everything else, which might be okay, because again, I don't think anyone really is building here anymore. Shouldn't be a problem, but man, I'm getting... I'm getting pretty far ahead of myself, though. The Iron Golem farm is going to be a long ways away. I don't have any villagers. I haven't found any villages, so I might have to do that kind of like a weird way, converting zombie zombie villagers to normal villagers and then having them breed and ba da ba da ba da It's going to be pretty weird, not going to lie, but... Ah, oh, man, it's been a long time since I've been over here. Check out how awesome this thing is. You remember this? Oh, episode one nostalgia. Oh, man. This is like a sweet volcano here. How does that even happen in Minecraft? I just love it. I just love it. 
But anyways, there we go. Pug Nation springs forth in the distance. So that's where the giant pug head's going to be. Right there. And I think I'm going to have a piston elevator in built into the side of the mountain. And if you leave like a sacrifice, like a bone, it'll activate the piston elevator and let you into the transportation hub. I think that'll be pretty cool. And then there's my sad, sad map, which I haven't had a chance to work on. Let's just stop this. Do I have... Okay, good. I did grab the obsidian. That's good. I was afraid I might have forgotten it. I'm going to make more because I want to do some exploration in the nether. And I'm going to get some more obsidian. Um, so I can build another portal in the nether to get back if need be. Because I don't know how much exploring I'm going to do. And I have to put all this crap away before I make that trek. So I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff away. Build the nether portal, get some more obsidian, and I will meet you guys back for the inaugural lighting of our nether portal. Okay, the portal's up! Woo! Alright, this is always nerve-wracking, going to the nether for the first time. Let's go! Oh, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Let's see where we go! Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, okay, right by... Right by a bunch of lava, but otherwise, not too bad. Not too bad of a spawn point. Okay, I was afraid that I would be, like, in the middle of a lava lake, and there would be ghasts everywhere, but that appears to not be the case, so we're good. These dudes are running around like crazy. And this is awesome, and this is why I wanted to enchant this pick, get this Fortune 3 on it. Look how much nether quartz I'm getting from all of these. Boom, each one's dropping, like, three... Oh, man, I just love that. I was mining that coal earlier, and it was just, like, I love fortune pickaxes. I mean, I've been depriving myself lately, it seems. I, I don't know why I didn't enchant a pick sooner, but shame on me. And, geez, I already have enough quartz to do everything I wanted to do. That's it. I could go back right now. But that's no fun. Let's do some exploring while we're here. Let's see if we could find another fortress. Let's pick a direction and just go. This is nice. No gas around. Pretty good, but I haven't seen a... Doesn't seem to be any fortresses around here, which is a shame. It'd be nice if I spawned, like, right in a fortress, but let's see. Nope. Nope, that's a big nothing. We'll have to keep exploring, then. But let's get all the glowstone we can, and we can start mining out all this nether quartz. I could use nether quartz. I might use that as a building material when I'm decorating. This is the kind of stuff I needed from here. I need as much glowstone as I can get. Which is going to be a big part of my base decorations. And as much nether quartz as I can get. Which I'm thinking will also be a big part of my base decorations. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine some of this stuff out. And then we are going to pick a direction. And we're going to start going. There is a lot of material here to mine, but I have more than enough to get me started. Oh, wow, I didn't have to go far at all. All right, awesome. Oh, sh someone already been here? I see cobblestone. Someone on the server's already been here, and they didn't tell me there was a fortress here? Oh, jerks. Jerks. Oh, man. I did not have to go far, though. This is really close to where I spawn in. That's awesome. And, oh, my God. I love this pick just tearing through this nether rack. That is so much fun. Yeah, it looks like someone from the server's already been here. I see cobblestone. That is not a natural formation. Well, that's good. Oh, wow. They already found a blaze spawner, and hopefully they have it turned off. I see a bunch of torches over there. Well, this is good. All right. This is good. This takes away a lot of the... Uh, Tedious hard work from me, then. Let's just make sure I don't hurt myself. Well, this is really good, actually. I'm excited. This is this is better news than I could have hoped for. Much better news than I could have hoped for. And let's just check this blaze spawner out and see what's going on. Man, this is so easy to access, and this is so close to where I move in. To where I spawn in, rather. This is great. Yeah, that's not shut off. But that's good. That's really good. We can make a blaze spawner right there. Let's get that rod. Let's get that blaze rod. Drop it. Did you drop a rod? Nope. Nope. No blaze rod. Nope. Okay. Let's just stay here. I want to get a blaze rod so I can get my potions up and running. At least one. Ooh, look. There's a... Oh, wow. Look at that over there. And there's another spawner. This is a great, great, great fortress. 
There's a spawner there. There's a spawner up there, apparently, because I see, like, four blazes. We've got these dudes, which... Oh, oh man, how awesome would that be if one of these guys dropped ahead? Ah! Shh! Get away! Get away! <laughs> these dudes scare me. I always forget about that. Drop ahead! No, no such luck. That would have been awesome, though. Let's get rid of some of this stuff we don't need. I don't need... I don't need any of this nether netherrack. I hate netherrack. Get out of here. Oh, this is great. I'm so glad these guys already explored it here a little bit. That makes my life easier. Oh, I don't really want to battle those dudes right now, honestly. But all right. Wow, this is great. So close to where I spawn in. Lots of things we can do here then. I just got to make sure I don't get lost. I am coming from that direction. That's where my spawn point is. And apparently my buddy in the server is coming from this direction. Yeah, come get me. Let's get some of those rods. Let's get some of those rods. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Woo! Give me some of those rods. This is a great first trip into the nether, though. Just great. I'm so happy. This fortress is so close to where I am. Good stuff. I wonder why my buddy spawned... Or, uh, his, yeah, his... Uh, Excuse me, I can't talk. I wonder where his uh, portal is. If it's close by to this too, because then hopefully... Nope, no head from you. How awesome would that be if one of these guys had dropped a head right away? Super lucky. That guy drop a rod? Yep, he did, but I ain't gonna find it. Long distance gas shooting! Whoop! Oh, oh what a shot! I would love to find his portal, that would just be great. Because right now, he is so far away from me, and it's like impossible. It's impossible to go see him. I'm getting lonely on the server. So lonely. Just light this up so I don't get lost. Hopefully, I can find my way back, and eh, I don't feel like walking across that. So let's make a bridge across this lava, then. Hopefully, don't fall in. That would suck. I got a lot of good stuff on me right now. Like this pick. If I ever lose this pick, that's going to be a sad, sad day. Uh, nope, not seeing his portal. Figured it'd be close by. I mean, he's got that thing there. Maybe it's underground, though. You know, that could be. He might have buried it underground, in which case I'll never find it. I was hoping it would just be out on the surface, but mm, probably not. Probably not. And the journey continues. boop boo doo Let's see. Good. That's a... Wow, that's a pretty good breadcrumb trail. I'm not going to lose that. Let's just keep going. What other wonders await us here in the nether? There we go. There's our first gas. Let's have a shootout. Woo! <laughs> wow! Man, I am a good shot. He's just taking a bath. He's just taking a lava bath, and I'm using him as target practice. This is mean. Taking a bath, getting shot at. Man, I can't hit this dude. Woo, there he goes. Dead, son. Oh, man, it sounds like there's a lot more coming to retaliate. Ooh, this is dangerous. I really don't want to lose this pick. What am I doing out here? What am I doing out here? The drive to explore is so strong with me. Part of me wants to just, like, go really far in the nether, just throw a portal down and see where I pop up in the overworld. I love doing that. I haven't seen any jungle biomes yet, and I haven't even seen any desert biomes yet. So, that would be nice, because I do want to have green and brown dye. I need brown dye specifically for my, uh, for my pug head build. The brown dye is very, very important, and of course that grows in the uh, jungle, in the cocoa pods or whatever. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Let's go that way. I don't know. I would love to be able to build a giant bridge across this lava lake, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think that's kind of stupid. Probably not going to happen. All right. I think I'm reaching the end of my exploration. I'm just for fun going to throw a portal down pretty soon, pop into the overworld and see where I am because this is getting dangerous now. This is just getting stupid. I shouldn't be in here doing this. But I can't stop! It's just so much fun! I love exploring! I love exploring! Getting new materials, all good stuff. All good stuff. Man, I'm gonna be so loaded when I get back to the overworld. Uh-oh! Does lava spread faster now? That spread pretty quickly. 
Okay, yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful here. Let's dig away from here. Dig away from the edge. I don't want to get gasted off. Dude, just stop exploring. What are you doing? What are you doing? People who explore are rewarded. I will be rewarded. You're an idiot. What are you doing? All right, I think it's time to call it. But just for fun, before I head back, let's just throw down a portal and see where I show up. Let's just throw it down. Save some blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Light this up. And then we will head back to Pugnation because I have plenty of resources to at least begin working on the pug head and decorating. Hey, check it out. What was I just saying? What was I just saying about desert biomes? Look at this! Oh, this is good! This is really good, actually, because I need a bunch of sandstone for the pug head build, too. And now that I have a desert biome, I could at least... Ah, but, I, you know, I don't have any... I don't have any room in my inventory, though. This is where you really need a... Uh, the hell are those things called <laughs> an ender chest? What the hell? This is where you really need an ender chest because then I could just dump all this stuff in that and I can mine as much as I want. Oh, that's cool. There's a cave down here too. All right, let's not get too carried away though, but this is cool. I should connect these two portals in the nether with a rail track. That way I have a nearly, I mean, look at this. This is so cool. This is like an infinite source of sandstone. Pretty cool. Well, let's keep exploring though. I need to grab a cactus at least so I can get my green dye. And then I could start a cactus farm back at base. Of course, it's nighttime when I pop in here, so... I'm gonna have to battle these dudes. Yeah, step right up! I've got, like, a nearly infinite source of arrows because of my awesome farm that I have. Alright, let's just grab one cactus. And be on our way. Of course, my inventory is totally full. Let's see, what don't I need? I don't need that. Don't need that. I do need this. I know you're there! Jerk. Bam! Alright, let's get this cactus, and at least then we can call it a success. There was a reason to come into the overworld if I got my cactus drops. That way I can make green dye, and when I'm working on my wool farm, when I'm working on my wool farm, I could at least cross that dye color off. I wonder if there's anything more of note in this area, though. Let's... See if we can climb on top of these one, one of these mountains and get a good view. Look how awesome that is! Oh, that's so cool. I love this world type. I know I keep saying that, but I love this world type. It is so friggin' awesome. Like that. That is awesome. There's no way to get up there, though. That's the only problem. It's hard to get around. Horse transportation isn't nearly as useful. Da, 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 da. Snuck up on ya. Man. I hope I come across a jungle biome. I know the biomes now, they kind of like stick together. Savannah biome, very cool. That's awesome. A new wood type, that's good. I do like that wood type, so I can harvest. I might as well at least get one of those trees. I don't know if they only grow in other savannah types, though. It is possible that this tree only grows in savanna types, and I honestly have no idea. I don't know. And I should know. Shame on you, Pug Nation. But let's get some of this. Signs of our successful exploration journey. Let's get some of this. Take it with us. All right. I think I'm just about done exploring. Uh, I'm pretty lost, though, trying to find my way back to the nether portal. But this is cool. We got far enough away. We've got new block types, finally. Unfortunately, when I started this uh, playthrough, I was playing on a version that didn't have the new block type, so all of the world that's generated near where I am doesn't have those. So this is cool. This is far enough away. I got those, of course. I love the amplified map type. I keep saying that, but those kinds of formations are so cool. So is this. And I got everything I really need. I got a bunch of glowstone. I got my cool new sapling. I got cool new wood. And I've got a bunch of nether quartz. So really now I just need to find my way back 
to my portal. And we can call it a day if I ever find where it... <gasps> oh! Oh! Whoa! Check it out! Never mind! Never mind! What? What? Oh! This... 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 Oh my gosh, this is awesome! Here it is! Mesa Biome! Oh my gosh, these are so rare! These are so rare! This is great! Oh man, this is so good! I don't even need a wolf farm now! I got all this! Oh man, this is so great! Oh, is this big? Is this a huge biome? Oh! Wow! This is so cool! Oh, I could use this in the pug head. I could use this stuff. I can't mine it though because my inventory is full. Oh, this is great. This is great. Oh, man. This is so neat. This is so neat. Look at that. Oh, that's a little dangerous though. That's kind of scary. But, oh, man. I am so excited about this. This is great. Okay. Wow. We have finally found something worth finding in this exploration video. Woo! I definitely have to hook that portal up to my transportation hub now because this is a great find. This is definitely worth it. All right, guys, but I think that wraps this episode up. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you have seen here. And also, please leave your comments down below. Suggestions for the awesome Puglet Builds book. Leave them down below, and wow, we will get to work mining this out and connecting that portal up in the nether to my transportation hub. And this is just great. All right, guys, I'll see you all very soon.